I've been cooking for you guys. I've been cooking a lot though because I went to culinary school last year because I decided once and for all that I wanted to feed my dream basically and uh, make food a huge part of my life and so I wanted to show you what I learned in culinary school and maybe inspire you to feed your dream and do what you love because there's nothing like it. So uh, I'm making today kind of zazzed up lentils and I'm just cutting some mirepoix and mirepoix I learned in culinary school is onions, carrots, and celery and it's 50% onions, 25-25 carrots and celery and I'm just cutting some up because we're going to add it to the lentils that I've already cooked and it's going to be delicious. And so I'm cutting these up small because lentils are tiny and I kind of want them to be sort of the size of the lentil. You see? I am putting that on nice high and I'm putting some canola oil in there, which is something I never used before school because canola oil allows you to cook at a higher temperature. Um, and so I just really want to get this super hot. Anyway, I made some lentils this morning, and I love lentils. I actually never had eaten lentils before college, to be honest, which is sort of funny. But I just love lentils. They're so scrumptious and healthy, and lentil soup is my favorite. That was good. And what I did was I just put the lentils in, added some water, and a bunch of salt. You can't just add a little bit of salt, otherwise lentils don't taste like anything. Added a bunch of salt, and then secret. Let's look, let's look for my secret little ingredient. I added a piece of bacon, which is super fun. He thinks that's fun too. It's super fun. You just add it, throw it in the water, and all the kind of juices and the meatiness and the smokiness get into the lentils. Now this, um, I'm not going to eat. I'm going to throw away. Um, I didn't know that I could make a piece of bacon look unappetizing, but I did. Um, but anyway, it's a really fun thing to just throw into your beans a piece of bacon when you're boiling them, and then just take them out. That you want to hear. In culinary school, if my instructors didn't hear that when I was sauteing, they'd say, why the heck are you sauteing in a cold pan? Make me feel like an idiot. So, I'm adding my onions, my celery, and my carrots, my mirepoix. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> it's vegetables, it's going to be fun. And see how nice, they're nice and small and tiny little guys. So that the lentils are gonna, you know, they kind of fit together like they're buddies. What you want to make sure you do now is season this. You want to season along the way, otherwise you season at the end and it's very surface, there's no depth of flavor. Okay, let's get a little pepper in there. What we're gonna do with these lentils is we're gonna add the lentils with some cream red wine vinegar and mustard. And I know that might sound a little bit weird, but I have to tell you, it is so freaking good. The first time I had it was in culinary school and Chef Marco, who's like this lovely Italian man who like loves life and loves food, taught us to make it. And he was like, this is one of the best lentil dishes ever. And it really is. Lentils go really well with red wine uh, for some reason. It's just a really, um, just a great combination, especially red wine vinegar, that acid. Uh, but the bacon in there uh, to give it smokiness plus the cream and the Dijon, it's just so good. Trust me. Okay. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. This is starting to smell really good. I'm just going to lower this a little bit because I want to have a little bit more control. I don't want it to get out of control. Look at that. Now the color's starting to get in there. Lovely. And I am going to add some cream. And not too much, a little less than a cup. Okay, and that's sort of milky, and I want to get them all nice and wet, like they're jumping in a creamy lake. <laughs> Let's see, okay, and now this texture is going to be so beautiful. Okay, let me add a little bit more cream. And, you know... One of the things I learned this past year is kind of just eyeballing things and being sensible about it. And, you know, I added some cream. It wasn't quite enough to get them all wet and just a little bit soupy because I want them to have something to simmer in a little bit, something to hang out in. Oh, yummy. I'm actually pretty excited. 
I wish I were roasting a chicken or something that I could have with this right now, but maybe I'll do that later. Mm, maybe we'll roast a chicken um, on our next Feeding My Dream, actually. I think that's a good idea because roasting chickens is critical, I think. And it's actually one of my favorite things to do. Roast chicken, french fries, and a bottle of red wine uh, is what I would choose as my last meal. And I would want them to be homemade french fries with rosemary and some nice salt. Um, and I like them thin, but not too, too thin. Anyway, we'll do roast chicken next time. Okay, so see, this is kind of getting a little soupy, and you're almost, you're just letting them hang out here for a minute. I'm gonna add some salt. And I'm adding salt because I added the cream and I added the lentils, and so I just wanna add a little layer of that flavoring, right? Because we're kind of adding it along the way. A little pepper. I'm gonna do a little taste because if you don't taste along the way, if it's bad at the end, you're gonna be sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now I remember why I like this. It just adds such a nice creamy mist, creaminess to the lentils and the creamy with the earthy. It's really very tasty. Okay, so I've got my cream in here, I've got my lentils going, and they're really loving each other right now, basically. I just tasted it. Taste it again. And, uh, I'm not kidding. It's very surprisingly good for being so simple. All right, and so I'm gonna lower the heat, and this is kind of the texture you want, almost like cream corn. Actually, it's a lot like cream corn. Um, except it's lentils. But see, you want this texture, and so basically you let the lentils kind of get all up in there uh, with the cream until it forms sort of like cream cornish, except cream lentils. That's what we're gonna call this, cream lentils. And so now I'm gonna add a little splash, like that, of red wine vinegar, and I'm gonna turn up the heat because I want that to kind of get in there and uh, reduce a little bit and boil a little bit off. But that flavor is kind of gonna Mm. It's nice to have sort of contrasting flavors. I guess that's how I would describe it. So you have the creaminess of the cream and the lentils, and then we're going to kind of hit it with a little acid to give it a little, mmm, to a little, little sassiness, like this. And then I'm just adding about a teaspoon of mustard, turning off the heat. It's really nice because there's just a lot going on here, but it was all so simple, right? There was the cream, and then I can kind of get a little bit of the vinegar, which kind of makes it alive and bright. And then uh, there's that tanginess of the mustard, which is really nice. And see how everything's all nice and about the same size? That's why uh, size matters. It's really good. Mm. Thank you so much, uh, because I'm now close to being done with this video, and I think it went pretty well, and so um, I was a little nervous because it's my first time back. But I think it went really well. Super happy with these lentils, and I'm really excited to be sharing my dream with you guys, and I hope that uh, it inspires you to go feed your dream too. Take care. I'm Tanya Malillo.